Okay, welcome back. This is our tutorial six or lesson number six. We are almost uh, done with the system. So here, I want us to do equation, equ uh, equation whereby we shall equate feeds from the child table to the mother table. Remember, we did that in joints, using joints. But now, I want us to equate them in the VBA. So, what you do, you take the feeds that are the same. Like, for example, we have this admission number. Just copy it so that uh, you don't uh, mess up with the, with the code. So, we have admission number. Then, in the child table, we have this field. That is exam admission number. So, what I need to do here is to equate uh, that... Uh, this field equals to the other one. That is the exam admission number equals to admission number in the other table. Remember not to uh, not to name the fields uh, using the same words. So then we have the class, the exam class. I copy this, the exam class. The exam class should equal to the other one. Here it is called student class. Just like I did there when I was pressing... Uh, one on top of the other one. You remember that? So the next one is uh, exam stream. I copy the exam stream. I'm copying to make sure that the spellings are correct. Then this is the student stream. Sorry, uh, I paste it back. I want to copy not to cut. So this is the stream, the class stream. The next one is the uh, current. Uh, that, that is the current here. The current here here this is from the mother table so we need to copy the year the year here is called the exam year so the exam year here the exam year you paste the exam year then the next one is the semester the exam semester i made sure that i don't use confusing terms so the the, the exam semester then here we have the semester. It's just called the semester. Only those ones. You, you, you only equate the feeds that uh, you used in the joints. You see what I have done? So I'm taking the child equals to parent, but not parent equals to child. So the, 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 the feeds for the child are always on your left hand side. So I click here, cross all. Now I want to go to the, to the uh, VBA. So I copy all this. So edit, copy. Can just save this one uh, somewhere. Just save this one in my VBA. Just save this is e equation. So uh, I copy again. So the next thing here, I go to the main form. I go to design view. Then uh, when I click on this button here, unit one, I just go to property sheet, then on click, here on click, I just uh, go to this. So I'll add this one. I can add those ones here. For every uh, unit, I'll copy them. So you just paste them there. You see what I have done? So we can just start a, a, a buff here because I can see all the codes are here. So you can start by pasting them there. Uh, semester. Again, go to this point you can paste them anywhere you can paste them anywhere so you you, you can paste them anywhere you can paste them up or just at the bottom but i opt to paste them there so we have pasted from there Again, we can paste here, paste there. We can paste here, can paste there. Uh, we can paste there. We can also paste there. Just like that. You can also paste here, paste there. You can also paste it here, paste there, that is the equation. So, so far I have done that one, also it's very crucial to include here option explicit, 
option x preset it's good to do that then uh, once i am done with that one now so far uh, so far now i have done something very important that when whenever i will be uh, feeding the the max uh, if you are keen enough if you can remember here you see there is exam admission number on top of the admission number so the, whenever i'll be keying in the max the uh, that is the the the, um, the system will be equating alternatively somebody else may also include the following uh, you see now this point here mm -hmm. this is we have done on the button whenever i click on this point here you see this is very crucial mark this uh, i am now on the on the on the text box like for example i am in exam unit 7 uh let me just remove this one so we have unit 6 like that this we have these buttons unit 3 i want us to have unit 1 we start with unit 1 when i click on unit 1 i then go to property sheet then i go to event then i go on roast focus this one so this is a macro or function that runs when a control or a form loses the focus so on roast focus i choose the event procedure then i hit on the three dots you see now this is for you a unit one so this one i just paste i paste the the the, the code this is the equation code here exam one equals whatever whatever now instead of again going to the others i can just copy this and change the number so i copy this and then i just paste it below here this is for unit two just change this one to to two again paste change this one to three you see now how i am making my work easier rather than coding for everything then this is for unit dot rust focus for unit uh, four again paste on rust focus for unit five again i paste on rust focus for unit six again here I paste on roast focus for uh, unit 7. That is for unit 7. Like that. You see what I have done. So you can just pause the video and uh, try to internalize how I have gone about that one. The next thing here is to rearrange this back. You can rearrange them back. VBA will be in a position to extract whatever, whenever you click. So it's not a, 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 a must that you arrange them in order that is unit one followed by unit two no uh, vba will be in a position to extract whatever you ask for so i pull that back like that now um the next thing here is to uh now connect this one with the query so i'll connect this one with the query uh, via another form so i'll create another filter another small filter form then that filter form will be used to uh, connect this one so uh, what you need to do here is to cross this one first then go to we just cross this completely uh, remember i will be using the master queue uh, hopefully i have used the master queue so i can just confirm whether my record source is master queue so just scroll here just scroll Whenever I scroll here, it's a position to see whether, well, yeah, it's here. My record source is master Q. So that is the query I use for connection. The next thing here is to create a filter form. So I will just go to this point, go to more forms, then click on model dialogue. Then remove these ones, remove these buttons. That is uh, okay, cancel. You can also reduce the size. So this is my form. You can just scroll. I call it filter then uh, change the color you can change the color for this one then the next thing here is to draw a combo box so I'll draw some combo box so this is combo this one so this is for the year this is for the year then you can just copy this copy paste like that I've pasted so this is for 
for the uh, crust. This is for the crust. This is for the stream. This is for the stream. Uh, crust stream. This is for the semester. Semester. So we don't need this. We don't need this one. But this is the, the ones we need. Then uh, forgot format. You can change the the color like that. This one also you can change the color like that. So this is what we have. Then after we have this one, you can just take it there. Then also reduce the size of this one to that point. You see what I am doing? So the next thing here is to is to make sure that whenever I run this one, you see now when I run this one, it is not leading anything. You see there is nothing. So I need to go to design view, then put a button here. I can just put a toggle button here. And then this is uh, enter max. Enter max. Then you can just change the color. Enter max. Enter max. So enter max. Then uh, you can also put the cross button. Cross. 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 That is the cross. That is cross. Cross. So, uh, on, on this same here, I can just put it like that. Save this one. So, the next thing to do here is to put remember we, we had the cross the cross uh the cross button code somewhere saved so you just copy this remember these things you don't need to commit them in the memory as a sharp programmer just paste them somewhere uh, then you uh, you just call it whenever you want so i just go to this point event procedure hit the three dots then paste this one in vba as do you want to cross then save so the button works. So whenever I just come to this point, you see now, do you want to cross now? So uh, you don't need to commit these codes in the memory. The next thing is to make sure that these fields, these fields uh, can fetch data accordingly. So uh, what I'm supposed to do here is to include an SQL statement. So I right click here, go to design view. I want this field to read from the school, uh, sorry, from the students. So the field that I want read, read here is the current year. You see now, current year. So uh, what I need to do here is to click on this, then go to property sheet, then data, uh, then uh, on the data here, on the rows, I'll type an SQL statement, uh, that is select distinct, then current year here this is current current year from from student from student details the table is called uh, student student details you see what i'm doing so i'm reading i'm just reading this i'm reading data you see this is the statement this is the statement Select distinct current uh, current so we have select distinct current year that is the field from student details that is from the table so I save this one and then once I save this one I can the position to see you see now it's reading it's reading 2024 from the student details the next one Again, I go back to uh, design view. I want to read the rest. So I want to read the class. This is class. I want to read the class. So I click on this field again. Here, I just uh, do the same. Just copy this. Uh, just like uh, uh, I am showing you how to be a sharp programmer. So you just uh, paste this here. Uh, what do, we, do I want to read? I want to read uh, from the students here. I want to read the student class 
this one, the student class. So I'll just go to this point here and then read the student student class from student details. Again, I save. Then from here, I can be in a position to see. You see it's reading. One, two. It is reading from here. Again, I do the same. Go back to design view here. Uh, on the design view, I go to this point again. Design view, check. I want to read the current year and the semester. So I do the same. I go to uh, stream. Uh, the stream, the stream is, let me just confirm again. The stream, the stream is student stream. So we do the same. Go to property sheet here, row source. Uh, that is row source. This is student stream. Uh, we are copying student stream. Like that. Again, we go to the semester. You paste the same. Uh, select distinct. Uh, this is semester. Uh, semester. Like that. From that. So after doing this, now you see it's, it's it can read. I can use this one to filter. It is reading streams. Semester. There is no semester. So we, we can just first of all feed the semester. The semester. Semester. We can just call, call it... Uh, same one you can have same one same one just copy this and paste everybody is in semester one okay same one same one like that so if i cross this one i'd go to filter semester you see now it is reading semester one if there are three semesters they will just appear on the that is on the uh, drop down list so the next thing here is to now connect is to is to connect this one with the with this query here so mm -hmm, um we, we go now to this query here we go to this query go to this query then close this one. Now go to where the fields are, the respective fields. We had five fields. These are one, two, three, exam year, semester, stream, class, admission number. Did we have little five? Exam, exam, we have class, stream, semester, and the year. Can't remember. One, two, three. Yeah, yeah, it's true. We have five. Okay. So we just go to where the class is here. Then type forms, exclamation mark, form filter, and then the field. The field. The field is combo. Now you have to be very keen. I think it should be combo what? Combo 2. Combo 2. Uh, let me confirm the name of the combos. Here, you, you click this one, go to property sheet, uh, then or. You'll be in a position to see the name. The name of the combo up here it is combo two you see here i can see here combo two combo four six uh, yeah they are they are following each other so i can be in a position to do that so again we go to this this is combo two you see what i am doing here forms it is reading a form called filter and the field name or the combo is combo two so you just need to copy this copy this one then go to where the stream is uh, the stream, this is class. Class should be combo what? You must be very keen. Com class, class is combo combo four. So, class is combo four. This is combo four. You must be keen. Combo four. This is combo four. Then stream, 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 stream. Let's confirm. Stream is combo six. So, stream again. Cross this. Stream here. Stream is combo six. Combo six, then the year, the year should be combo two. That one I can remember. Combo two, and then we have the semester. The semester, the semester should be combo eight. You see, I am reading here. So the semester is combo combo eight. Ah, uh, here I paste this. 
then go to combo eight. You see now how I'm doing, going about it. Now what I'm doing here, I'm now connecting this this one with the query so that whenever I click on the enter max button, the system will automatically filter according to this small form. That is the filter form for that matter. So to execute the button, you will type this code, do cmd, that is do command, open form, the name of the form here, the name of the form, comma, AC normal, then do command maximize, that means the form is maximized, and then the small form is crossed, me dot visible equals to false, that crosses the, the small form. So um, here, um, we just go to, uh, we cross this one, I want to cross this one so that we can go back to our form. So we are here. In this form of ours is called main form. So in this code here, I'll type main form. Main form. That is the name of the form. So our code will open the main form. I copy this. See where I put it. So uh, uh, I, I am in this code here. So I open my filter form. This button, you click on this button, enter max, then go to property sheet, then go to event, on click. What happens when I click on it? So I click on the three dots and then paste that code here. You see where I have uh, pasted the code. So do CMD, it will open my main form in normal mode and then maximize it and then cross the small form. That's what happens. So here, I just save this one then view. You see now, when I come to this point 2024, I then go to form 1, uh, north, then semester, semester 1, then click on enter max. You see what happens? It has automatically filtered for me one north, since I have only chosen one north, and I have not chosen one south. So if I cross this again, then open this form, and choose one south or i choose form 2 s enter max it will automatically uh, show me the students or the student who belong to that class you see now i can just come to this point unit one you see i can now fill max for uh, guys in to south the next thing i want to make sure that to south is written here or the class is, is written here in a bigger way or in a larger font so i go to design view then go to, I cross this, <coughs> I go to add existing, then I can just go to uh, the class, the class that has been filtered, so I want the class and the stream, these ones here, I want these two here, so I can just delete the labels, and then I have this, this is the class and the stream, the class and the stream here it will be displayed here then i want them to be this one to be transparent so i cross this i go to property sheet uh, i choose or then i go to backstyle i choose transparent transparent then increase the font i want them to be centered and then to be size 18 and bold so uh, i go home view so you see now i have two south displayed there but still it's not attractive as i want uh, i want them to be big size 26 and then i don't want to have that border style border style should be transparent like that i don't want the borders to appear yeah good like that you see now i'm in a position to see the class i am uh, fearing max four so this one should be that way. I wanted them to be closer to each other. You see now, I'm feeling to south. And whenever I cross this one, if I cross this one, I go to filter again, I filter one south. Then enter max. You see now, I will be feeling max for, uh, that is for the, the, the specific class that uh, uh, I want. Then, uh, also, uh, when whenever I click on uh, this button here, this button like this, 
I should get the students taking that unit. So in my next session, in our next lesson, I'll take you through how to uh, to ensure that the only that is the only student taking a certain unit are the one displayed whenever the button is uh, uh, clicked. That is using Visual Basic for application. Lastly, on the same as we end our tutorial, I'll be taking you through how to produce a report card or a report form or a merit sheet using the same procedure. Remember to subscribe.